Valentine's Day does not have to be about just a relationship with a partner or a spouse or a boyfriend, but it can be about a relationship with yourself because if you can't love yourself, you can't love nobody else, girl. No, you can. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm collaborating today with my darling friends at Miss Malini. I've got Sana here in my chair. She's being my model. New Muse. model. Dummy. Dum dummy is nice. She's been my dummy for the day. So both of us are wearing Acom today. Uh, Acom is uh, a duo, Manish and Arman from Delhi. And I think they make incredible clothes because I feel like they mix together a art. trendy, art-inspired yeah. fashion. Um, it's a good blend of art and comfort. And I like that when we were talking about loving yourself, I feel like it, it's empowering because it's not about a bodycon fitted dress. It's not about celebrating your womanly form. Uh, you know, there are times and places and there's other occasions for that and there's other clothes and designers for that. But I like the fact that Valentine's can then be about you loving your personality more than you loving your, you know, having the perfect body. Uh, fashion should be for all shapes and sizes, right? Thank you, uh, Ekam, for allowing us to wear these beautiful clothes. And I found these magical earrings. Um, they just, like, st on the street, they were a couple hundred rupees. The entire vibe I felt is so Dolce and Gabbana, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll start with makeup now. First things first, we gotta prep our skin before makeup goes on. I'm using Organic Harvest's Hydrating Gel. This is one of my favorite finds of the year. I'm just going to put this on a face. I use this morning and night, before going to bed and when I wake up, before my makeup. Um, I like the gel texture because I feel like it, it almost works like a primer where the, the stickiness of it makes the foundation latch on longer. So let me just blend this in. And it's fully organic. So what better way to treat your skin. Now for foundation I'm using Bare Skin in Caramel number 14. I love squeezy bottles because they're light to travel with. Um, they don't break. Okay, and I'm gonna blend this with my hand. After we're done blending in that foundation, I'm going in with the PSC Take Cover Concealer Crayon. I really like these crayons. This shade is L12, L12. Just gonna draw a little triangle there. Bridge of the nose a little bit. And if there's any redness around the mouth or nose, blend that. Just so we have a nice, even toned. This is the contour and highlight Duo stick by Maybelline. One side's the contour, one side's the highlighter. I'm just going to throw in some shadow and some nice face with the contour. It's not too dark a color, which I like. It's a nice ruddy brown. It's not too orange or anything, so I like it. Just throw this in the perimeter, the side of the nose. And the beauty of the product is that you can blend it with your finger because it's really soft and creamy. Once I blend it in the contours, I'm going to take this little Lip and Cheek Stain by Sephora. It's like a nice red. It's gonna be a makeup heavy look today. We're really indulging. Okay, so I'm gonna take this red and I send it to look up and I'm gonna just put that right there on the skin under the lashes, on the apples of the cheek, but also on the cheekbone. I love using stains because they really look natural. It looks like it's coming from underneath the makeup. So whatever's left in the brush, I'm gonna work on the tip of the nose, a little on the chin, like so. My new palette by Tarte called Tartiest Pro. Look at those beautiful earthy colors and a few frosted ones as well. I'm gonna use this one called Mod, which is like a sort of red. So I'm just gonna throw this Mod right there on the inner corners of the eyes right there. Keeping it close to the lash line and then blending up slowly. Again, take a little bit of this Mod and just throw that in the corner right there. Close to the lash line and then blending a little up. Don't be afraid to use your fingers if you have to. Now I'm going to take this colour here called Drama, which is a deeper plum and I'm going to uh, put that on the corner here starting with the lash line and then slowly building that up. You don't necessarily have to make a cut crease but if that's your thing then go for it. Following the lash line and pulling the brush out so we have a soft winged blendiness to it. Let's see. 
Right, put it in the corner of the eyes right there. Following the lash line, and then blending that into the crease. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this plummy tone and put it right on the outer corners, on, this, on the underside of the eye right there. So what we're doing is really playing with the dimension of that eye as opposed to leaving it flat. We've got this red going into a soft plumminess. Just running my brush over it so it's a nice soft blend. Now I'm taking this frosted tone called Minx and close your eyes girl. I'm just gonna throw that on the middle right there. You take a matte product and you put, there's a matte shadow on both sides and a frost in the middle. So the frost is going to catch the light and reflect it. It's gonna bounce it off and the matte is going to absorb it. The matte is enveloping the frost and that juxtaposition creates dimension. So I'm using this uh, Maybelline gel crayon eye pencil called Silken Turquoise. It's a lasting drama pencil. And I'm going to just put a light wash of this on the inner waterline. Oh my, it's quite beautifully pigmented. Right, so that blue, from corner to corner, only on the lower waterline. Now this product I ha used backstage at Fashion Week in New York. Uh, we don't sell it in India yet, but for those of you that travel and have access to it, this is Maybelline, so it's not expensive, um, but super on quality and great with technology. It's called the Master Precise Curvy Liner. So starting close to the lash line, So just make sure you filled in the area between the lashes and then just with your finger you can wing that out a little. Right, so I'm going to draw this line. Now that we're done with the liner, I'm taking the black called Punk from this palette again. And I'm just going to ask another look up and just throw this in there right there. Just to connect the wing to the outer corner of the eye right here. Now I'm moving into the brows. This is Anastasia's Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. Taking this with an angular brush, I'm just going to color in and fill in the sparse areas of Sana's brows. So I've kept the focus on the inside, but I've used that brush to, to blend whatever I've picked on the brush and blend it out. These lashes by Ardell are Double Up number 201. Another recent find is this Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. Look at these exciting colors. So I'm going to take this blue. It's called Vega. And I'm going to throw some Vega right there. Now this highlighter by Anastasia is called Starlight. I'm going to throw this on the cheekbones right there. Again, so this matteness into that frost is giving you dimension. So on both the cheekbones. Also, right above the arch of the eyebrow. This is very Instagram friendly makeup. On the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the fulcrum or the Cupid's bow. Finally, the lips, these are super stay 24 hour Colors by Maybelline. And now this one is the bright tone, so I'm gonna use this all over her mouth, smile. Like so. I like how pungent this red is. Now this bright shade is number 35, and the deeper shade is number 005. So I'm going to take the deeper shade now and work that only in the corners of the nice pouch. Now I'm loving the look, but I want it to be a little more contoured. I want a little more shadow on the perimeter of Sana's face. I'm going in with my trusty old friend, Casino by Nars. Throw that right under the cheekbone. Smile. And then just sort of work the curve of the cheek. Also in the jawline, right there. I'm not really doing a hair tutorial, but 
This is raw hair taken, middle part and tied into a bun at the back. I'm going with John Frieda's brilliant brunette liquid shine perfecting gloss. <laughs> I like this product. Rub that in my palms and then with my fingers I add the texture. You know, you can mess it up a little bit, scrunch, scrunch it up within that space. Okay, now you can learn. I can look? Yeah. Oh my god, I can see. <laughs> and that's the look. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I love the whole blue and the con it? yeah, the whole yeah. contrast looks really nice. Yeah. I mean, India we do lean more towards the Middle East with that sort of beauty. You know, we're, we're, we like theatrical makeup, um, so it is more India centric and it's festive and it's bridal and all of that. We love yeah. right OTT stuff. Um, but don't forget to adapt it to your face. Take what you want, eliminate what you don't want. Don't yeah. forget to like, subscribe, share, share, and comment. That's right. Um, and anything else that you feel like. <laughs> but we hope you've had a great time. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to love yourself. And this is Sana from Miss Malini signing out. And Elton J. Fernandez. See you next week.